I've had a lot of subscribers email me and ask me the difference between the visibility hidden and the display none property. What is the difference between those two? Because they seem to do the same thing. They both hide the element. And on the surface, they do, but they are actually very different. And so we're going to talk about it in this lecture. Now, I want to point out that this is the code I'm using from the CSS layout series. So some of you will recognize that if you follow this series. So let's go ahead and load this page up. And I just want to show you something really quick. So here we've got our first main element, which has an ID tag of main. And here is our second element, which has an ID tag of main too. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hide this first one, but we're going to go ahead and keep this second one in both scenarios, because I want to show you how this works. It's better just to see it in action. So again, we're keeping the second element on the page, but we're getting rid of the first main element. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and just take a look at the HTML code real quick. And there you can see, here's our first section with an ID tag of main. And here's our second section with an ID tag of main too. But we wanna work out of our style sheet. So let's go ahead and flip over there and let's go down to our CSS code for our first section, which of course is right here. And this is the only one we're gonna be altering because this is the one we wanna hide. So let's take this first one, the visibility hidden, and we're gonna go ahead and just put this right at the end here and it should hide it, hopefully. So let's save this and let's go ahead and load our web page. And there you can see the first section is now hidden, which is what we wanted. Now, here is the difference. You'll notice that this bottom element, the main two element, did not move up. So that's what the visibility hidden does. It basically hides the element, but the element is still there in the background. It still retains its space. That's the key. It's still keeping its area. The display none eliminates it completely. So not only is it hidden, it basically blows the element completely away. It's not even there physically in the background. And we're going to see that in a moment. So that's the key difference. Okay, so let's close this out now. And let's go back to our style sheet. And now let's flip this to display none. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's flip back to our index.html. Let's go ahead and load this up. And take a look at that. This second main section, main two, now moves to the top because as I said, the display none completely eliminates the element. It is totally gone. So that's the big difference.